What am I talking about? I don't even know if any of this stuff makes sense. Hey, is this thing on? Hello, wanted to sit in front of uh, some new art we got. It's um, a tamales, obviously. A woman in uh, San Francisco makes um, makes these. She did the M and M's in the other room, and she does all sorts of uh, kind of pop culture items from years ago. I think starting in the fifties. She doesn't do too many modern. Uh, I don't think she does too many modern packages. But anyway, she uh, she did this, and the box itself is probably. About three and a half feet long. A tamales! And uh, so we also ordered um, Junior Mints. A big giant box of old Junior Mints. I live in Dallas and we've started this. My cat's playing with me back here. We started this uh, program with the uh, cameras at intersections that take pictures of the red light runners. And um, I think we have 30 or 40 cameras around town. And I was watching the news last night, and they were saying that they were going, they might discontinue the program because it's working too well. People are actually um, not running as many red lights, and so the city is not making any money off the program, which I guess they thought people would just continue to run the red lights. And they started it because of safety, you know, a lot of accidents, and there were. There were some intersections where, you know, you could practically set your watch to there being some sort of car accident. You know, they put these up, you think, well, that's going to be great, you know, it's going to save lives, yada, yada, yada. Well, the issue is, it's not generating revenue for the city. So, they're going to, may they may take them down. Or at least now, they're going to start rotating them, so they're not always going to be on, which, you know, is, I think is still going to keep people from running red lights, um... But then they might start gambling, thinking, oh, it might not be on. I don't know. It's just, you know, really comes down to they weren't doing this for safety so much as they were doing it to generate revenue. And um, I just think that's crazy. I do. I'm going to go back to the kitty litter thing I talked about a while ago. Because I can. you got to buy kitty litter. I've got two cats, and so it's a constant thing. And um, if you don't have cats, or if you never really pay attention, they have, uh, I guess, Tidy Cat. They have like four different kinds of kitty litter. They have the immediate control, odor control kitty litter. They have the long-lasting odor control. And then they have this antimicrobial litter. Um, and there may be a fourth one, I don't remember. But... I guess my question is, why don't they just roll it all into one and have one kick-ass litter? Why does it have to be, you have to sacrifice quick odor control or long-lasting or the antimicrobial, whatever, or you get the kind that, you know, you can see the odor. Who cares about that, right? But why don't they just roll it into one? I mean, do they think they're fooling us and that they have more options? Because, yeah, there are options, but really, you know, I... I buy a different one each time just because, and I, frankly, I don't notice any difference in terms of whether it gets rid of odor quicker or lasts longer or there's no, the antimicrobial, whatever. I don't, I don't understand why they need to do that. We've got some cowbirds outside. They're called cowbirds because... I guess they hang around cows. They don't look like cows. Anyway, we get them occasionally. I don't know how many cows in my backyard. but I don't like when you're calling someone from, you know, across the house or something, and you say, hey, where are you? And they say, I'm in here. That's not really helpful unless you live in a two-room house. I just, I can't stand that. It drives me crazy. Pet peeve. I was at uh, Lowe's. I'm in the paint aisle. You know, I've got some touch-ups to do. And the man's talking to uh, somebody that works there, and they finish the conversation, and the man sort of turns to walk away. And uh, all of a sudden he says, Honey, where are you? 
screaming this in the store. And she, from some far off distance, I don't know how she heard him, um, place, she says, I'm over here. Really? You're going to do that in a store? Have you ever been watching one of the shows, like a live concert or some live performance where the crowd stands up and they start clapping to the rhythm of the music and there's always at least one guy who's clapping completely offbeat? Does he know it or not? Because, you know, I, you, sometimes he'll stay on the person and they're just having a good time, you know, completely clapping off of everyone else. And I think at least, though, can't you see you're not clapping with the beat? I can be rhythmically challenged, and that's why I don't do aerobics, because I can't seem to get that whole thing. I would at least think you could look at your neighbors and see what they're doing, and, and you know, if you realize you're, you're doing this while they're here, you know, you might want to try to sync up with, everyone else but they don't watch watch shows you'll see there's always at least one person who's completely off beats that would be my mother she can't and I've asked her you know what's what's the deal I don't know but um, she doesn't really try so it's hard to know for sure what you know Something I noticed, you know, it's just there's always at least one person. No lipstick today.